Yo, what is happening guys? This is the Don. I'm back with another video for y'all and today's video I have my settings for you guys. Some people have been requesting it and I realized I haven't done a video where I've just sort of put all my settings together in one thing. So I thought I'd do that now for you. Let me know what you think. So as you guys know, I play mouse and keyboard. These are my settings for it. Ha, gotcha. No, controller. I play controller. ADFOV. FOV. Brightness 55. So for the FOV, I leave it at 80. A lot of people say, why do you play console FOV? Console FOV is 80. If you didn't know that, you can change it, right? So I could put this all the way up to 120. But I like console FOV mainly because of the YouTube channel. I like the fact that when console players come over to the channel, they look at it. It doesn't look any different from what they're used to. The rest of the stuff's pretty standard. I don't have any of this adjustments to the color of the thing or anything. I use square minimap. I used to use round, but some people on the channel like use square. I don't really notice anything, but I think you can see a little bit more. So that's always good. Obviously the rest of this stuff is just, you know, nothing for PC players. Graphic settings. So this is a whole tab for PC players. I'm gonna scroll through this really quickly in case they're interested. 240 frames per second. Um, all this stuff my graphic settings are not really that high i could definitely put them higher but i would lose frames so i don't really want to lose frames I want, I want to have maximum performance but it's still good enough so that you can sort of see it well on you know like ray tracing i'll have ray tracing on it takes up so much ram like look at all the ram it takes up right there we don't want that but i have it good enough so that you can see it but not good enough where it would slow down the processing audio settings home theater i know a lot of people use boost low boost high boost high maybe something like that whatever the footsteps are whatever frequency those are they use boost that so they can hear the footsteps better and i get the sentiment behind that but for some reason just with these headphones these are uh turtle beach style 600s they're really not that expensive as far as they're not like asteroid 50s or anything like that they're not you know crazy expensive but they're the best headphones I've ever used for Modern Warfare. Hit marker sound effects. This is the most important setting that you guys are gonna have in the whole thing. You gotta have classic on. If you don't have classic on, you're not gonna be able to drop nukes. No, I'm kidding. But I just really like classic. It gives me nostalgia. It's like, you know, you know, when I was playing Modern Warfare or was playing uh, Call of Duty as a kid, you just have the same hit marker sound. The Modern Warfare one's all right, but classic's the way to go for me. All this stuff's whatever you guys want. Um, and now here's controller meat and potatoes of the video i play tactical um i have a scuff infinity 4 ps pro controller right here so i got two paddles on it the right one is for uh jumping or canceling my slides and the left one is for switching weapons also i have a control freak on the right stick so if i was gonna say get something for your controller it would be this guy right here this little purple circle is so op and it's really not that expensive you can get them for like 12 dollars or something like that it's definitely affordable and it really helps your game a lot since i have a, a scuff i'm able to get away with tactical but if you have a default controller you can still have have really good movement if you play this i've seen a lot of people play this i've never played it personally but i've seen them move around the map and stuff like that and it's definitely a good layout i think there's probably other ones you could try i know some people play stick and move dead zone 0.03 i play on low sense so i don't have to have a high dead zone i want it to be as low as possible speaking of which my sensitivity is 5.5 if you have seen my accuracy video, you know how passionate I am about low sensitivity. 0.95, low multiplier. I like it a little bit less than one. It doesn't have to be exactly 0.95, but this is just what I play on. It's really comfortable to me. 1.2 high zoom. This made my sniping insanely better when I put this up. I'm considering putting it up even more, but right now it's right here. So I definitely recommend you turn that up if you play 5.5 or anything like that. Dynamic response curve. So this is super important. I play dynamic. It's going to make your, your fine movements with your thumb a lot less dramatic, you know, and so that you're gonna have way more control over the controller. But at the same time, if you do get into a situation where you really need to whip around hard, if you mess up or something like that, basically you're gonna be able to move your character a lot faster because it dramatically, it's like a, it's like an S shaped curve. So the low inputs are, are sort of, you know, muted a little bit, I guess you don't have as much of a, a movement, but at high movement, like if you jerk the stick to the side, your character is going to move around faster than it actually would with linear controller vibration disabled. You do not need that. That's just going to mess up your aim. Standard aim assist. Um, precision is meh compared to standards. I don't know why you would ever really need to play precision that much. Standard is just so strong that I just always leave it that way. I've played precision and it's much more comfortable for me to play standard personally. Um, the rest of this stuff is all default, I think, um, except for this. You definitely want tap to slide. If you haven't, if you don't have this on, you need to put it on. It's going to help your slide cancel like so much. So yeah, for this one right here, I know a lot of people are using auto tax print and stuff like that. I definitely don't think you should do that. I think that you leave it on disabled, both of them, because your movement, you... It's so important in this game that you need to have the maximum amount of control over it. So yeah, both of these are something I would never use in my opinion. Just don't even touch them. Leave it at disabled and you're all good. But anyways, man, I hope you enjoy the video. It's a nuke on vacant against some really sweaty kids. I hope you enjoy the settings. Try them out. Give them a go. See what you think. But for now, I'm out of here, guys. Peace. Enjoy the gameplay, y'all. This guy's got a foul. He's using three-round burst.
Oh my gosh. See? See what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> if he hits his shot, it, you die immediately. I don't even know where I was getting. Fucking shot from. Guy's got an R9. Bro. Proceed with caution. Feeling like using mouse and keyboard? No, I mean I never learned shit out of it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't blame you. I'd probably use uh, controller as well if I switch to PC. Yeah. I mean, there's really like not like because the aim assist is you know good enough in this game. Right? Oh my gosh, what's up? I think I had them muted. Devin, did they complain last game? I didn't yeah, I heard a few people. Oh, they been out? That was probably me. Oh, well, that might have been Devin. <laughs> Devin was been out, that's for sure. <laughs> I think I don't remember hearing any other teammates saying like, this. Oh, yeah, Devin's on the team. Yeah, no, <laughs> that makes sense. I'm not gonna lie. But I know I'm ass. So. How did we not it's kill each other? Bro. Real bad, bro. Not everyone has to fucking put their life into this game like I have. <laughs> 36 days played. Really? Yeah. You're one of the few people I know that has more than me. I won't say 30, maybe like 32. Yeah, I know. I'm like high 20s right now. Uh. These kids are fucking annoying. There's a kid behind this box in here. Dude, my sensitivity is being so nice to me today. Sometimes it does be like that. Just hitting the shots. Flicking the fuck out of people, yeah, I know. What sense you play on? Uh, I play on 1818. Damn. With a .5 zone. That's pretty impressive. When I first started, I yeah, yeah, I'm on Xbox. Um, when I first started playing the game, I started playing on 2020 sensitivity. I got used to that. I lowered it and it got a lot better. Yeah, when I lowered mine. I got a ton better. Mine's on five is five. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but, yeah, but what's your dead zone at though? Five five point oh three. Point oh three. Yeah. Well, yeah. your your friends on mouse and keyboard, right? You're on mouse and keyboard. No, Devin's not. Me, Devin's I'm on next controller. Oh shit. Never mind. Um, point zero five high. That's I mean, that's that's what, that, that's what the standard is. Oh, wait, wait, point zero five. Point zero five. Point zero five. That might be. I don't know. But yeah, no. I just started playing with high sensitivity to be, to kind of just teach myself to be able to control the sensitive the, uh, the recoil. Yeah. Better. Dude, I hope you're so good. Like, oh we're my. Really early on. We're getting fucked in our plan. It's not like, I mean, just most of our team is playing the objective. Really. No, yeah. I'm just kind of running around the objective. Oh, yeah. Another thing, so how do you feel about people who don't go on the objective but they kill everyone around them? 
That's me. You just you just described my playstyle. Yeah, you know that, that actually helps the team. You know that? You actually yeah, bro. Yeah. Some people say it doesn't because you're basically forcing them to respawn. Yeah. And then 100%. They're gonna looking for you if you keep up. You have no idea how many people have like complained to me. Dude, shut the fuck up. You're yeah, not oh, even you playing the no objectives. Uh, dude, you have no time. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I hate that shit. But like. Bots say that shit. Go all the way back to Alright, another thing is I don't play on like the super sweaty. I don't have the super sweaty controller layout. I just use a uh, stick and move. Where it swaps my uh my A button and my right trigger. Oh yeah. Or not my not my right trigger, my right stick. Yeah. So I can jump around corners and shit. I never take my uh right thumb off the bang off the bullets around. Yeah. I have a scuff, so I have to play normal tactical. Sometimes it will say though, slide cancelling is kind of a pain sometimes. Yeah bro, slide cancelling on a scuff is just cake. Yeah, I mean, I kind of got used to it. Though. I'm sure to the average player, it would be very difficult, but I mean... I mean, not, not necessarily. I'm literally the best player who ever lived, guys. I dropped a fucking nuke, that's what just happened. Oh my god. These kids were so good too. At least two of these kids have I know one kid on the other team's dropped a nuke. I don't know if I've seen two no calling way. cards today. God, I dropped one. I should put my calling card on. Yeah bro, calling cards gotta be good. Wow. Let's Ooh! Love to see that. That's Love to crazy. see that, bro. GG's guys, GG's. You got GG's. Look me up on YouTube, the Dawn543. Oof. That kid had three, three minutes on hard point. I'd be so pissed. Dude, I'd be pissed too. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I'm glad I'm so fucking angry. I'm glad I'm so fucking angry.